What's up guys, Logan with Card Poppers here. So today we're gonna take a look at a card in a case where the card value goes down a ton compared to when the card goes up a ton. So this card right back, can't see here, right here. This Justin Fields, EGS9 Auto, Prism Silver Auto, graded back at 10. I paid just over $600 for this card beautiful looking card these prism silver autos are hard grades they're tough to get tens and nines on so it's just it's still a cool looking card but it really after the first game this thing came to like 30 percent in value because they played the packers they got blown out and honestly that loss looked really bad because the packers have looked terrible this season so far they, lo they just lost to the raiders and broncos in back-to-back -back weeks on game ending interceptions by Jordan Love, which is never good to see it for your starting quarterback. But back to this card, I don't, I honestly don't know what I thought when I was buying this card. I knew there was so much hype. I didn't believe in Justin Fields at all, but I really wanted just to get on the train and just buy something of his. So I bought this card, paid just over 600 for it. I think it's trading for under 400 now. So, I mean, I lost about $200 on it. You never know, he could end up like last season really carrying his team in yards and completions and everything throughout the last nine whatever games he did last eight seven seven eight six whatever games last season he really uh, had a lot of rushing yards he played really good in that time frame and people really hyped him up then so you never know that could happen again this season but i'm not banking on it anymore People are saying this is supposed to be his season that he's going to be really good. This is a make or break season for Fields. And now I am i don't believe that either, that this Tyson Bagan guy is going to take over his starting job. He threw for like 160 yards last game, and he was basically a game manager while they blew out the Raiders. I don't think they did anything special on offense, so it's not like Tyson Bagan's going to take over his starting role, I feel like. But, I mean, this is just a clean-looking card. Justin Fields actually has a really nice signature, if you can see that. I feel like that's just a cool signature. It just looks like a nice little, it looks like a WF almost, but it's just clean. These Prism Silvers, like I said, hard to grade. A BGS 10 would probably be like a pop, like a super low pop count on this car, because BGS grades a lot harder than PSA as far as their 10s, and their 10s go for like three to four times as much as a PSA 10 in a lot of cases. So it'd be really hard to get a 10 on this card. Still, I really feel like this is an awesome looking card, even at a 9. I like the Beckett, the silver border they have with their slab. It looks really clean with the silver on this card. I personally like Beckett slabs better than PSA cards, even though I have 99% PSA cards just because of the tradability of them. And the I feel like, well, the value of PSA cards are higher, so it's a lot easier to move them, and you're getting more for your money when you're selling them too so yeah really like this card just a cool card to have in general thanks for watching today guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video peace